Welcome to Etiquette. In this video, we're going to discuss listening skills. It is useful for degree students in AP, JL, GL, and uh, PGT, TGT, KBS, NBS, those who are preparing for school assistant English post. This is helpful for all these uh, kind of students. Okay, let us start this. Okay, video length may increase, but uh, you have to listen with patience. Then only you will understand the skill completely. Just pay in half an hour enough show completely. You will listen, understand this. First, <clears throat> When people talk, uh, listening completely, most people never listen. It, this definition is given by Ernest Hemingway. It means see, when people talk, uh, we have to listen completely. After listening, that we have to give response. But unfortunately, most of the people never listen. He says that. See, <clears throat> here, uh, uh, what is the ability to accurately receive and interpret messages in the communication process? The thing is, listening is also regarded as a very important skill in language learning. To learn language, first of all, we have to practice listening skills. Otherwise, we can't learn language. Though active listening, one can acquire vocabulary, grammar, as well as the better pronunciation. Speaking skill also depends on the listening skills because interaction involves both listening and responding. Listening is an integral part of communication. It is a quite often taken for granted. Listening occurs naturally in the mother tongue, effortlessly, in second language with effort. Because naturally our parents talk in the home, we listen that. We need not to do a special practice and uh, to show the special efforts. Effortlessly we listen the mother tongue. But when it, the matter comes to the second language or the foreign language, then our parents don't speak that language so that we have to show some efforts to learn that language. Definitions. According to International Listening Association, listening is the active process of listening and we listen what the speaker is going to tell and what the speaker is told and it is also ability to retain information and it is also helping us to identify and to understand what the speaker is saying and through this listening we can understand and we, can, we understand the speaker's accent and the pronunciation, grammar vocabulary and uh, the meaning of intended by the speaker and see after that before uh, we talk about what is hearing and what is listening see hearing means uh, just without any attention we listen we don't have any purpose okay it, that is called listening and the listening means uh, we have a proper attention and we have a purpose Purposeful listening is a listening. Purposeless and focused less is a hearing. That is. Now see, listening is a receptive skill. And uh, it is a product of read, speaking and writing are the productive skills. Listening which is recently considered to be the passive. But it is not. It is a, an active process. Because the listener involves in decoding messages directly. So that it is an active process. And uh, why it is the need to develop learning as a skill see here in first language we need not in mother tongue we need not to develop a special skill as to learn that language automatically that comes by birth it means by birth not uh, because the environment completely uh, around us that speak that language so that we learn easily but when it comes uh, to the foreign language we have to show special effort on that for example, swimming we don't learn by birth, driving also. So it, it requires some skills to learn and we have to practice that. The same thing will happen in the second language. It means by the practice, uh, we can make a habit. That habit makes us to learn language very easily and that habit uh, brings us a new habit. Okay, it means when we practice more, the more proficiency, the better proficiency we get in that language. Listening skills. Listening is a receptive language. Listening is a receptive skill or the passive skill. But the speaking skill is a productive. Okay, the language skills are two types. One is receptive and another is a productive. Okay, receptive is known as a passive. Productive is known as a active. The passive listening, uh, receptive list, uh, skills are listening and reading. Productive skills are speaking and writing. Oral and audio oral and lingual skill and psychomotor and graphical skill why is speaking is called as a psychomotor skill because all mouth organs involved in that to produce sounds 
okay so that it is a motor skill and graphical skill means whatever we listen we write on a paper that is graphical skill and emergence of listening as a skill let us know james brown ralph nicholas carl weaver these three are played a significant role in forming a special skill on the listening they are the fathers of listening in 1979, the International Listening Association was established, ILA. Okay, in the present school education system, the primary grades listening is accepted as a most effective learning mode. And in college level, the lecture system depends on the heavily on listening skills only. Here, Brown states like this, listening ability lies on the very heart of the all growth from birth though the years of formal education. The better those learning skills are developed, the productive are the learning skills, learning is effects, efforts. See, overall idea I will give you this, gist I will give you. The gist is nothing, gist of the Brown statement is, uh, the more you practice, the more proficiency you get in the language. Now here, what listening skill help us, how it, it helps, it helps to identify and understand the speaker's accent, pronunciation, grammar and vocabulary and gauging his meaning and it also gives a, a familiarity with the sounds english sounds and articulation of english sounds it is cultivated through the practice both extensive and intensive the extensive means outside the classroom it means the public places we listen we listen the announcements songs advertisements that and these okay these are all come under extensive it means uh, the wide variety of sounds we listen under this there is no limit for this intensive means uh, there is a limit it means just one or two specific points we give and we listen especially this type of practice will take place in the classroom activities it uh, ranges from simple conversation to academic debates some hampers are this there are some obstacles while listening having inadequate range of words and phrases like a uh, third world countries second world countries are there it means which is not taught as a mother tongue english in those countries uh, this type of hampers will come and inability to maintain the attention unable to understand the pronunciation of the speaker and distraction from the background noise next the listening process will happen here in this way between the two people one is a speaker and another is a listener the speaker nothing but sender or the producer of the signals and he hears and gives input to the listener listener is known as a receiver receiver of the signals and a decoder he decodes and he evaluates and gives response that is known as the output and a few more stages are there in the listening <clears throat> hearing understanding or recognizing interpreting evaluating responding remembering <clears throat> see hearing means uh, when the speaker gives a speech then he listens a speaker especially whatever the listener wants to know then that they speak out the listener speaking a shout out is uh, that is the hearing of the speaker and understanding recognizing after listening the speaker's speech the listener understands and interprets and evaluates which is right or wrong, uh, strength and weakness and responds according to that whenever the speaker asks the question and remembers after completion of the seminar or the lesson or the class he retains in the brain that is remembering according to the children and richard there are two ways one is bottom up process and top down process bottom up process in this process the listener analysis analyzes the message at the level of sounds words phrases grammar cohesion coherence and clauses etc example is a trainee chef or the student when the trainee chef is told he absorbs everything okay each and everything in the top down process in this process the listener does not totally depend on the received information but the background knowledge will help him to understand the main point for example senior chef or the senior student the types of listening the basic types of uh, listening is a casual listening focused listening appreciative listening and guest listening according to wohin and cochle the five types of uh, uh, listening are there uh, one is discriminative listening, comprehensive listening, critical listening, therapeutic, appreciative listening, biased listening and sympathetic listening. And see the casual listening means uh, we listen the sounds without any purpose. Just while walking on the road, the uh, public announcements, uh, while engaging in the work, uh, 
listening to radio, TV, news, the public announcements, etc. Focused listening. Focused listening means we focus, we listen on a concentration. There is a purpose. With a purpose, we listen the announcement or the class something. That is the focused listening. In this focused listening, we uh, try to ask the questions because whenever we didn't understand the point what the speaker said, then we raise the hand and we ask the uh, question for the clarification. Example questions asked in the interview, dialogues, lectures in the classroom, quiz programs, rhyme and rhythm of poem, official announcements, business transactions, etc. Appreciative listening means just we do this listening for enjoyment, for pleasure. Listing of poem, poetry, song, drama, and the speech of a good orator. Just listening is nothing but uh, it is uh, to take the information on a gist. It means the overall idea that we take under this. Whole are the overall idea, the central theme, a central idea, the central summary of the speech, announcement or the drama. And discriminative listening. Here, discriminatively we listen that. It means whether the whatever the speaker is saying, whether it's suitable for us or not, how much we have to receive this. It means uh, <clears throat> assigns uh, uh, meaning to the sounds rather than the words in order to discriminate uh, the fact from the listener's opinion. Whether it is good or bad, right or wrong, strength and weaknesses of the speaker. For example, you take the baby Sartre. They don't understand the words, but they rely on the discriminative listening to this uh, understand of the mood is being communicated if we say uh, with the angry face then they understand that the parent is angry but they don't understand what the meaning of those words just they relay on the mood of the parent or mood of the person and the communication and but adults are there they don't understand they understand on complete meaning of the communication it means uh, they don't pay attention on the understanding of the word by word just what is the idea, what he said, his intention, he understands. Comprehensive listening means the, this is used in the day-to-day -day life. Okay. And uh, especially it is developed in the childhood. Generally, we communicate with the students after the class, just chatting with the friends outside at the restaurant, etc. Critical listening. This is a very important listening because uh, when the listener involves uh, to analyze the complex information, Okay, that is being communicated to them. And uh, listener evaluates the information not necessarily passing the judgment. After completion of that, whether it is right, whether it is wrong, by taking different types of aspects into that, then he evaluates, he gives his judgments. For example, questions himself, what the speaker is trying to say, how is his pronunciation, how the words are used, are those appropriate or not. These all things uh, he, we understand and it provides an opportunity to understand both the strength and weakness of a uh, speaker. Biaster listening. It is a selective listening. In this listening, the listener is not uh, honestly evaluating the validity of the speaker's opinion. He goes through the favorite areas that they especially want to hear. It leads to a distortion of the facts in the mind of the listener. Sympathetic listening means uh, it is an emotionally driven type of listening. A listener processes the feeling and emotions of a speaker and tries to provide support uh, with when that person is experiencing the problem. Therapeutic and empathetic listening. In this listening, the listener tries to understand the point of the viewer of the speaker and imagine themselves directly in the speaker's position. And the subskills of listening. Decoding sounds, comprehension of structures, guessing meaning, recognizing discourse makers and friends, skim or scan for the specific information, recognizing cohesive devices, understanding different intonations, uh, patterns, understanding the speaker's attitude, ability to differentiate the changes in the sounds, recognizing the and understanding the phonology feature of the speaker, speech, transferring and transforming information, Understanding explicitly stated ideas, understanding the communicative functions, etc. Now, Penny or proposed some listening activities in the elementary level and the secondary level. Let us know. Giving uh, first in the elementary level, this task is given to them. Giving fill in the table or the grid with the appropriate information, listening text about the someone's childhood and trying to give answer, 
coloring the objects, making objects a flow charts, filling up the grids, using dialogues, finding things in common. And at the school secondary level, the talks given like narration, narrating a story, listening to a telephonic conference and uh, writing the messages, listening to songs, explaining a doodle, predictions, solving problems like puzzles, riddles, listening to the news, weather forecast, sports, drills and exercises, language games, jigsaw listening, recorded cassettes, gap filling. Okay. Uh, gap filling exercises, radio stories, uh, group work, role play, making short responses and along with that some other skills are there, motivation, giving a motivation, teaching something contextually, context, time duration, giving some time and telling them to say something, application and adoption. Barriers of listening, trying to listen more than one conversation at a time. If you are not interested in the topic issue being discussed not focusing on the topic prejudice and be asked by race gender age religion accents etc and preconceived ideas closed minded previous experiences preoccupations feeling unwell tired hungry etc and effective listening skills prepare yourself to listen looking into eyes of the speaker do not interpret interrupt but interject only the right time Train your brain to keep from the wandering, being open-minded in another effective way of the listening. Evolve and emulate and empathize with the speaker. Positive non-verbal responses. Tips to improve the listening. One is watching TV shows, listen to podcasts, short audio clips, watch TV talks, listen to audiobooks, record your own speech and uh, listening that. And uh, uh, watching other uh, reality shows okay these are the effective ways uh, to develop our speaking skills i hope you understood this well next if you want any topic just write in the con uh, community uh, comment section i will give that uh, video to you in the next video okay and overall please don't forget to like this and subscribe that is your wish okay thank you